Hello. The aim of this video is to show you how to measure a traffic conflict based on some traffic conflict techniques. Before doing that, we are going to see a brief introduction to traffic conflicts. A traffic conflict is a situation that is about to end in an accident, but is finally avoided by an evasive maneuver, such as swerving or braking. Your study is an alternative to the assessment of safety, based on the analysis of crisis databases. It requires lower data collection period, but the analysis is more difficult. Let's see how to analyze them. A traffic conflict study may be conducted based on manual traffic conflict observations or on video recording and video analysis tools. During manual traffic conflict observations, a high responsibility is put on the observer since it is the observer who has to detect conflicts, use them and make notes all in real time. However, the advantage is the minimal required equipment. You only need a traffic form, a pencil and a watch. Here you can see one traffic form. For each conflict situation, it should be recorded the time of the event, the road users involved, even the possible secondary users, the speed of the involved users and their distance to the collision point, the type of the evasive action, a sketch of the conflict, and the description of the course of events, even some notes of po any possible violations of the traffic rules, hazardous behavior or any other issues of interest. To perform conflict observation in field is a difficult task. Therefore, it is highly recommended to base the conflict studies on video recordings. This way, the observers can do the work indoors speed up the playback when traffic is low and nothing really happens, and take breaks when necessary. It is also possible to use special video processing tools that help to detect potential conflicts or measure the speeds, distance, etc. from video with a higher accuracy. Once we have the characterization of the observed traffic conflict, it is time to measure them. It is done by means of the name Traffic Conflict Techniques, TCT. The most used are the time to collision and the post encroachment time. But there are others, such as the gap time, the desolation rate, the proportion of a stopping distance, the potential index for collision with urgent deceleration, and the potential time to collision. To quantify traffic conflicts, the time-space diagram will be normally used. The horizontal height axis represents time, while the vertical axis is distance. Therefore, this diagram can be used to represent how a moving object, a vehicle, changes its position along time. In fact, the slope of the curve indicates the speed. The higher the slope, the faster the vehicle. Here we have the representation of the time to collision. It is the period of time between a driver reacts to the potential conflict, breaking or slowing down their vehicle or performing an evasive maneuver, and the hypothetical collision if the maneuver, maneuver had not taken place. That was in a road segment. For intersections, the diagram changes a little bit, since the invading vehicle does not follow the same path as the vehicle. In addition, there is not a single point of a hypothetical cross, but a conflict area the intersection with. Based on the time to accident or time to collision and the conflicting speed, we can define the severity level of the conflict with this diagram. The horizontal axis represents time to accident in seconds, while the vertical axis is the conflicting speed in kilometers per hour. Conflicts with 
severity level above 26 are ranked as serious conflicts. Other TCT is the post encroachment time. It is defined as the time between the final of the encroachment of the vehicle and the occupation by the second vehicle. It is a strong measure to how close the conflict was. The last TCT we are going to show you is the deceleration rate. A sudden deceleration is normally connected to a serious conflict. Also, this is a good indicator for, of the severity of a traffic conflict. It is difficult to accurately measure it, so its use is not widely spread. Once the study is done, the results may be presented with a sketch with the location of the conflicts. Here we have an example. A summary table presenting the conflict counts by type of maneuver with the road users involved and a diagram displaying the conflict severity distribution. With this video, we have shown how we can measure the traffic conflicts to analyze the safety of a road segment or an intersection. Thank you.